Hello and uh, greetings once again, Russell Hall for WP LocalViz, the ultimate website builder for local businesses and offline marketers. Just introducing the latest version 2.0.3, which we have released as of today, June 9th or June 8th, 2012, wherever you are in the world. And uh, this features the awesome new one-click installer for the base master site, which I think you are going to be very impressed with. So without further ado, I've got installed here a brand new fresh installation of uh, WordPress and as you can see at the, uh, on the front end here, there is uh, uh, nothing added to this. This is exactly how it uh, uh, comes out of the box, so to speak, installed as a fresh installation. And I am going to install, okay, I've gone to appearance, install, uh, themes, okay, I've just got the two WordPress themes in there, there at the moment. But you will go to your downloads uh, link, whether that's uh, in an email or whether that is uh, on the member site in the download area. Okay, I've got mine here on the desktop. That's the latest version there. And I'm going to install. So we click install. This is all live. This will take, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds for, uh, for the theme files to be uploaded and installed. And then you will see how, uh, how simple it is to, uh, to do this. If uh, you're installing this to a site where you uh, have already previously installed WP Local Biz, uh, it will fire up straight away. It won't ask you for the uh, login details, but if it's a fresh install as this is, I'll just hit activate here. It's going to activate the theme and it will ask me for um, login details. So, okay, here we are 2.0.3, that's the one you want. If you click this link here, you can click this one down here, but just click here for the control panel. And in this case, uh, it's going to ask me for registration, email address, and okay, let's just click activate. That's going to activate the theme. Okay, so here we are, and in the back end here, you can see we've got the uh, various sections, general, header, menu buttons, and so forth and so on. And um, uh, so although it's installed, if we go to the front end, you will see that it's just uh, a blank uh, page now. We've just got uh, the, the uh, typical WordPress uh, default uh, post in there, Hello World, and that's nothing like what a WP Local Biz uh, site should look like. So let's just go back and change all of that. You can see here where it says, let me just move this across here a little bit. Yeah, okay. You can see where it says, create base site, simple setup wizard. Now you can do this and probably should do this with every site that you're building because uh, from here, you will see in a moment that you can create a, uh, a full foundation for a, a new local biz site. Now, this is a simple setup wizard. The easiest thing to do is just to accept all of that and, and press proceed but you do have a choice we've got a home page and about page FAQ or articles you can either have any of them in or out but I suggest you leave them all in there it create it will create a header navigation bar for you it will create a footer navigation bar we've got all these pages here in the footer privacy terms uh, legal finders etc and uh, anyway that's pretty easy to follow yourself we've got two sample testimonials and three sample posts so yes I want to go ahead and uh, install that. When that disappears as it has, uh, that means it's done. So we go back to the front end now, and you are going to love this. Okay, and here we go. We have got the uh, the website all set up for us. Okay, it's as simple as that. It's just one click. Okay, so you've got the uh, uh, the attention getting uh, call to action there in the uh, down arrow. You've got the top line of text the that continues on your call to action your middle section you've got your flashing telephone number uh, you've got the section down here that tells you that you can put in your opt-in form here by auto responder code or wordpress short code you've got the uh, the uh, featured uh, text panel underneath it's got some text in that tells you where you can go to to edit that and the rotating testimonials are in there and uh, the eight card is all set up all you have to do is go on the back end and, and amend this, but uh, that's all set up, ready to go. That's done. We've got a um, like a, uh, a Google map here, okay, to find us. Okay, so we've got that. And another good thing that we put in is the legal pages, okay. And uh, 
we have got like a disclaimer we've got a legal page I'll just click on that again because it's taking a little bit of time yeah okay so and these are generic uh, legal pages that uh, you don't have to customize uh, there will be a customized version later on but uh, you got disclaimer legal terms and these were provided by uh, my good friend uh, Scott uh, from cut and paste uh, legal pages and there will be an acknowledgement on the, on the site for this a little bit later on but uh, uh, Scott uh, is uh, actually a licensee of um, WP Local Biz and he's an attorney from the US and he's been kind enough to allow us to use these in WP Local Biz um, more detail on that uh, later on but uh, basically that means that uh, things like your privacy policy, anti-spam policy, your um, your um, FTC uh, compliance notices, uh, disclaimer and so forth, everything is there. Okay, now we go back up here and we've got an about page. Okay, there's the about page. It tells you here, edit this page in WP Admin, page is about. We've got the FAQ page. And these are set up to allow uh, uh, the, um, the sidebar widgets to go into the right hand side there. You can just go into uh, appearance widgets and slide any uh, any uh, widgets in there that you want to have in there and uh, that's a sample FAQ page again tells you where you can go to edit the page articles we put a couple of sample articles in there article 1 article 2 continue reading okay there's your sample article tells you where to go and edit that um, now once you've edited that and put in uh, legitimate articles you can then set up in the back end uh, to have uh, to have uh, the uh, rotating gallery uh, kicking in, but if we just go here to appearance, WP Local Biz version two, we come back to the control panel, and you will see, for instance, that all of that data has been inputted here into the back end. The name of the uh, that's on the header, subheadline, and all you do is just go in and edit these according to what uh, details you want. The featured panel, uh, of course, uh, at the moment we've got the, um, the feature panel image instead of the gallery, but if you want to use the gallery, once you've got your article set up, just uncheck that box and, and uh, select uh, which category you're going to choose from. And we have set up automatically, there's a slider category that's been defaulted in there for you. We've got the featured sidebar, all ready to be, uh, to be edited. Okay. And that's pretty much it, folks. It's all there ready for you to uh, get stuck into. But uh, building a uh, WP Local Biz site has never been so easy. As you can see, this is all uh, uh, very, very simple. It's just one click and you are ready to go with the Base Master site to start building your uh, local business uh, websites out with. Okay, I'm Russell Hall for WP Local Biz. Thanks for watching this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye now.